guys, so I got all dolled up for you today for no reason at all. Um, I know my rootage is pretty bad, but um, my hair was dirty and I didn't feel like washing it today, so that's why it's up here. Uh, don't mind the roots, though. I'm getting them done in a week and I know they're really, really bad and I really <laughs> need to get them done. Um, so I'm excited to get those done. Anyway. I got this video idea from someone on Facebook messaged me asking for advice on this subject and suggested that I do a video on it because she feels a lot of younger girls can really use this kind of advice. So that's what I'm going to talk about today and yes, it is actually my first time, my actual first time, you know, you know what, having sex. So everybody does it, well mostly everybody, I'm not going to generalize. But I feel like I'm a generally really open person with you guys and this is a type of video not a lot of at least popular YouTubers would really talk about. And I think it's a good subject to talk about with you guys because I am that, I like to consider myself the open <laughs> guru. I share so much of my life with you. And why not talk about this? I mean, I'm not ashamed of anything and it's who I am. It's what I've done and I'm not going to get into gory details uh, but if you want gory detail type if you want to ask gory detail type questions you can ask them below and then I'll gauge them whether or not I want to respond firstly I'll get into a little bit about my experience I consider myself extremely lucky to have had um, a good experience for my first time having sex um, I'm not ashamed of the fact I'm not a virgin I mean I don't think that matters at this point I'm 23, I'm of age. I'll tell you guys that I, I lost my virginity to Tyler, who you all know is my ex-fiance. I was engaged to him and he's been in past videos before. We were together for six years. I'm gonna be a little um, personal with you guys. This video is all about personal stuff, so I feel like I shouldn't hold back. Um, it was on my 17th birthday, actually, is when we planned it. And at the time we were in love and I trusted him and we ended up being together for six years so I had no regrets about my first time. It wasn't horrible at all and it was awkward obviously. I think a lot of people when they're experiencing their first time go through that awkwardness with that person but that is one of the most important things is that you have to be comfortable with that person. If you're not comfortable with them and it's someone random that you don't really know then it's gonna be a horrible experience. Um, at least I think it would be for me. Um, maybe it wouldn't be for everybody, but I, I just want to reiterate that everybody is different. Everybody experiences different things. Everybody's experience will be different. Um, you may enjoy your first time with a stranger. I don't know. It, it all varies per person and I'm just here to give what I believe to be true for myself and hopefully I can help you guys. So the number one most important thing I have to tell you is do not ever, 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 ever feel like you have to have sex by a certain age. I think that is so ridiculous. I don't care that all your friends are doing it. It, it shouldn't matter who's doing what. <laughs> um, every, your body is your body and you need to listen to it. And if you're not ready by age 20, that's fine. That is totally fine. If you're not ready by age 30, that's fine. You know, every experience is individual and if you feel pressured by anybody, by your friends, especially by a boy, do not do it. Don't, don't do it because you will regret it if you feel so pressured to just give in. Um, because Honestly, as a girl, we want it to be special, okay? It's cliche, but it's true. We don't want to look back on our experience and be like, I regret that. You want to be able to look back and say, I'm glad I waited for the right person. Even though I'm not with Tyler anymore, I don't regret it at all. I'm so glad I waited to be with him um, because that was a great relationship that I had. And... I, I mean, I trusted him fully with it, and, you know, um, I don't have any regrets at all, even though I'm not with him anymore. And so, I just want you guys to have that same experience of waiting for the right guy. But it's true, it really does need to be the right person. So, don't let society or anybody in your life tell you that if you're 18 and you haven't had sex, then you're weird, <laughs> because that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. So 
I just want you guys to wait. Please wait until you know for sure that you're ready. You are not weird if you're 20 or 25 and have never done it. Um, because honestly, you're probably the normal ones. <laughs> I knew when I was ready and I knew when I wasn't ready. You know, I had a serious relationship before Tyler and I never went there with him because I knew I wasn't ready, I wasn't old enough. Um, but you should not go by age. You shouldn't say by 18 I'm gonna have sex or, you know, when I'm 20 I'm gonna have sex because I kind of did that myself. I, um, when I was deciding with Tyler what would be appropriate, I wanted to wait until I was 17, and so it happened on my birthday. Um, weird, but you know, I waited till I was 17 to do it because I felt like that was an appropriate age. I wouldn't recommend that, I would just wait until you know for sure that you're ready. I want to be that person for you guys if you can't, if you feel like you can't talk to your mom or your parents or any siblings that would be able to give you advice, I want to be able to give you that advice. Um, that a parent should or you know someone close to you could um, I just want to help share with you um, and tell you that it's okay um, if you're the age you are right now and you haven't had sex that includes not even being kissed yet if you haven't been kissed yet don't rush it don't rush to go kiss somebody I think it's a little less serious than giving your virginity up but <laughs> I mean Kissing somebody, I get that question all the time, and I see it on YouTube all the time about people who haven't had their first kiss yet and they feel like they're weird because they're 16 or 17 and they haven't had that yet. Um, it'll happen. You just have to trust that it'll happen. I just want to make sure that you guys don't feel weird for not having done something by the age you are now. I just want you to know it's completely fine if you are older and you're you haven't experienced any you know kiss of uh, sex uh, oral sex i don't care just you haven't experienced anything yet um i think that is totally fine and appropriate and i think no matter what age you are oh the train so whatever you do definitely don't go by age when you're deciding if you're ready to have sex because you will know emotionally when you're ready for that and you want to make sure it's somebody that you trust it's somebody that will be willing to go through that experience with you you will know when you're ready when your body's ready when you're emotionally ready only you are gonna know that and your friends aren't gonna be able to tell you when you're ready a guy isn't gonna be able to tell you that you're ready because trust me to him you're always ready I don't mean to generalize but Let's be real. It's not about age or what your friends are doing or if a guy is trying to pressure you or anything like that. You have to be strong in your responses. You have to stand up for yourself, especially to your friends. If everybody's doing it and they're kind of either making fun of you or just joking around with you that you are the only one left that hasn't or whatever the situation may be, just be like, yeah, and I'm proud of that because I'm gonna know when it's right and I'm gonna only do it when it's right and wh when I'm with the right person and you know it doesn't I just don't believe in other people influencing your decisions about life same thing if you want to wait until marriage that is completely fine and don't let anybody tell you that it's not the way my mom approached it my mom and I have a very close relationship we've always been open with each other that's another aspect I was very lucky on was my mom was completely supportive of me and my decision and her rule was you can have sex when you believe you're ready if you tell me and we get you birth control. So I was lucky that my mom was there behind me to get me the means of birth control before I had sex. And, you know, I hope that you guys have someone like that in your life that you can talk to and say that you're ready to do this. Um, can you help me with this if it's a parent or if you're 18, then, you know, you can get birth control. Um, just make sure that you're safe. 
and don't ever be scared to ask the other person if they've been tested, if they've had more sexual partners than you. Um, I think that is completely fair to say if you're going to be in a new relationship with someone and you've had sex with other people, or I'm sorry, if they've had sex with other people to, or you for that matter, you should get tested too, <laughs> to ask them to get tested. I don't think that's any sign of disrespect or anything, you're just protecting yourself and you don't want to end up with something horrible because you wanted them to believe that you trusted them. So don't ever be afraid to say that or ask them to get tested if you're, if you're aware that they've slept with other people. Um, another thing to touch on is if something happens and say you have sex and it wasn't with the right person and they didn't treat you well, in the situation or after the situation, don't blame it on yourself. Don't say, I should have done something different. And what I'm referring to is if you, let's say we're at a party or something, or you were pressured into it and you went along with it, don't blame it on yourself. Don't say, don't sit there and say, I, I should have done this, I should have done that, because that's not gonna change the situation. The best you can do is pick up and learn from it and know that the next time will be the special time and that is when you will be 100% sure with that person that you can trust them. If you're ever in a situation, the last thing you want to do is regret it. So if you can, break out of that situation, be strong. And if you didn't and it's already happened, then stay strong and try not to regret it. You'll just learn for next time to know that it's going to be the right person and if anything you'll make better decisions than those who haven't gone through that experience so just don't beat yourself up, beat yourself up for something that you can't change. I feel like I'm being repetitive at this point so I'm gonna stop talking um, but let me know down below if or if you want to be anonymous you can send me a message on tumblr if you have any questions or you want any advice um, about this subject and I know it's completely personal and I got really real with you, but not too real, I hope. But I hope that this helps you guys be open with it. You should be open with it with, you should be open with it either with your parents or your friends. Just don't be ashamed of something like this, even if that's how you were raised or how you were taught to be ashamed of. Um, it's definitely nothing to be ashamed of, whether it's already happened or you're planning it or you're waiting for it. It's, it's personal, but you obviously don't want to share with the world like I am, but you want to be open about it and talk to people about it if you can. If you can't, feel free to talk to me about it because I'm definitely here to listen to you, give as much advice as possible, but I just want to you guys to feel like you can talk to me about it. So if you have any questions, gory detail questions, whatever, does it hurt? Down below, you can leave a comment and I will hopefully get back to you. If it's too personal, don't be offended if I don't respond. Um, but I hope this was helpful for some of you. Number one thing to take away from this, don't ever feel weird. Don't feel weird for being the only one who hasn't had sex because trust me, you are not the only one. There are a million people out there who are your age and haven't had sex either and don't think you're abnormal because you haven't been kissed or something. You're normal. You're completely normal um, to be whatever age you are and not have those experiences because it's your journey. It's not theirs. It's not your friends. It's not the guys. It's yours and you have to be in control. If you're not in control of the situation that you're about to get into, leave it. Just don't do it because you will regret it. So I hope this helps you think that you're normal and know that you're normal. Don't listen to society or what other people tell you. It's completely strange that we do that, but that's society, I guess. But yeah, so I hope this helps. Please feel free to talk to me. Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, YouTube, message, whatever, comment. You do what you feel comfortable with if you want to talk to, to anybody. You can email me too. Um, so I hope this was helpful and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.